Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the bags of professional players Jenny and Greg from Badminton Insight. So they've been very kind enough to show us what's in the tournament bags as well as the training that we've been doing today. So let's go and look at your bags. Yeah. We're going to start with Greg's bag. Um, so Greg, off you go. Yes, so we'll start in this pocket here, which is the rackets. Woo! Check you out. Everything <laughs> <laughs> you need. Um, so starting in this, we have a heavy racket. Training racket. Yeah, so That's a bit cool. heavy than usual. Practice our defence with. Um, I actually have this as well. Um, Red right cover. Yeah, it's just so I practice like making sure I don't slice my spot. Yep. And then we have our rackets, which we have the thruster F. Have a good amount of them. Very nice. Very nice racket. What's your string tension if I don't mind asking? 30, 30 pounds. Um, sometimes 31. Yeah, oh, VBS, VBS 66 nano. So. How many rackets do you have? I've currently only got five in here. Um, one's broken as well. One's broken. Um, but yeah, usually we like kind of between six and eight, especially if we go on a tour where we're away for a few weeks. So <laughs> moving on, we've got the middle section. So I have this bag. I'll get onto that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Spare shirt, always needed when we get sweaty. Mm -hmm. a couple of tubes of shuttles. Nice. The shuttles there. Uh, fo various foam rollers. Uh, nice. Therabands, all sorts of stuff I use in my pre-match warm-up. Okay. Um, some joggers, actually comfiest joggers ever. <laughs> Keep warm. A water bowl. Important. Hydration is so important. These are quite good. These these cool ones. Are they a thermos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they stay cold for 24 hours. Although you shouldn't have your water too cold because it takes up energy, cooling, warming up. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. just fat for you. Stopwatch. What a coach. Ooh. Crucial. <laughs> yeah, my, my bag's a lot messier than Jen's, that's for sure. I have everything. This, because um, playing, balls. no, playing badminton, like with badminton rackets, playing tennis, short tennis with this is amazing, isn't it? Good it's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so that's yeah. it, if anyone wants to try that, that's pretty much that bag. Heart rate monitor. Heart rate monitor. Good. From this morning. Yeah. Yep. Because um, we want to see, we want to see a real pro's bag looking like this. Mine's nicely done, but that's actually how I live my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> like if, you look at, if you look at this, can I show that? that yeah, yeah. Camera there. Like, it's just mess. But yeah, I've got hydration tablets. Nice. Um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more ferrobands, a skipping rope, tissues, just in case you get a nosebleed. You never know what can happen on court. You never know. Towel grip. Yep. Uh, ibuprofen. It's an absolute essential. Deodorant. Deodorant. And scissors, <laughs> of course. For the broken strings. Yeah, yeah. Last pocket. I'm not actually sure what's in here because I've got my bamboo shoes on. <laughs> um, surprise! We've got a surprise coming. They usually go in there. Oh, oh. We oh. have a massage gun. Now these are these are really good um, for self massage, loosening off area, tight areas to prevent injury and recover effectively. We yeah. use those often, like both before and after training and matches. A face mask um, from our German club with the felt face mask. Yeah. You can tell these. Like, this is actually like a real picture of what's in his bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's usually messy in this, to be fair. And you usually have lots of rackets that are restring as well. Oh, okay. Um, so that's why I like my big bag. If you look at it, it's three times yeah, the width absolutely. Of, of Jenny's over here. A shoe bag that I probably should use to stop from smelling. And fine, uh, a bit more string, a bit of string. That's actually Jenny's string she uses. Um, <laughs> just in case, like we don't want to take a reel when we go away with us, but in case, yeah, it makes it cheaper to get a restring if we need. If we do need that, but usually try and be prepared. Mm -hmm. and lastly, this skin on skin, um, it's like really second good skin. For it's really, really, really good for blisters. Um, wow. Okay. I've not had any recently. I don't even know if there's any. It's a lifesaver. Wow. Actually, lifesaver. So that's my bag. Um, <laughs> sorry, it took a while, uh, and it's not the most organised, but yeah, that's it's just. It's got everything you need for life on tour as a pro. Absolutely, Absolutely isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, do you take this bag and check it in when you're going on flights? Good question. Um, we actually, I actually will transfer to that bag when we go on a tournament. Okay. So we've got two bags. Because um, we normally share a big suitcase to try and save costs. So the thinner the bag, when we're fitting two racket bags into a big suitcase, the thinner the better. Really. Okay. Yeah, because airlines like Ryanair. Easy jet in the UK, um, they don't let rackets on as hand luggage. Yeah. They class them as a weapon. Weapon, okay. So so, the, so these go into your checked suitcase and then go straight onto the checked yeah. luggage. Yeah. Okay, they have a Victor trolley bag and they both fit in there. Perfect. Okay, Jenny, <laughs> would you mind showing us what's in your bag? Yeah, so Mike Greg, I'll start with what's in, what my rackets are. So 
we have the same rackets actually, first time ever. I'm also using the Victor Thruster F, really nice racket. Our only difference is, is that I use the VBS 68 at a slightly lower tension, around mm. 29 pounds. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, and I've only got four in there at the moment and one's broke. My restringer is slow on service. <laughs> uh, and then in my little side pocket is my kind of... What well, very organised, check this yeah, out. I did say Ooh. I was. I wasn't lying when I was that organised. <laughs> uh, so, AirPods, I pretty much take everywhere with me. Kind of like travel and then pre-match sometimes if like the hall's Get really noisy, zone. just... Yeah, kind of zone out some of that background noise. Hand sanitizer, uh, hand cream and lip balm. You never know when you might need those things. Absolutely. Pens uh, in here. Phone charger again. Bit yeah. of a necessary item when we're Absolutely. traveling around. Absolutely. And then a good <laughs> and essential is this little mini squash bottle. So when we're, I find these most useful when we've been away for about 10 days and all we've been drinking is tap water. This is a lifesaver. It's so good yes. to just put in a bottle of water to make it slightly more enjoyable. So that's that side. I did say mine was a bit more organised than minimalistic compared to Greg's. <laughs> uh, so same water bottle but different colour. So I've got this purple water bottle. Deodorant, another essential. Essential. <laughs> uh, the same as Greg, a uh, little shoe bag. shoe bag to keep our shoes separate from our clean kit. Uh, one thing that Greg didn't have was a sweat towel. Yeah. I usually have it. Yeah. yeah, especially in tournaments is I think when we'd more likely to have these in our bags for like when we want to like break momentum in play. So for example, in the middle yeah. of a match, we ask the other player for a, <laughs> a towel down. <laughs> yeah. Make the opponents kind of wait around for a minute. To keep uh, a little bag for my sweaty kit, again to keep it all separate. And then, like Greg, I've got this kind of junk bag that all the little bits and bobs get thrown into. So pretty similar stuff in here. So scissors, skipping ropes. See, this is a rare one. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is where we're quite different. Is that Greg uses towel grip? I don't know if you'd have noticed that. On his rackets, I use the uh, just over foam. Grip. This is a yeah. foam over grip, isn't it? Yeah. So this goes under my white grip just to kind of soften it, so I'm not just feeling the wood. Yeah. So yeah, I really like using that. I have it underneath all my grips. Stencil link, another necessity, and then the <laughs> grip. <laughs> all the ibuprofen. Yeah. Quite Essentials. I think that just shows like. You know, we're very rarely playing when we're 100% fit. We've not got something wrong with us. Mm. Um, like, because we train so hard, we're constantly pushing ourselves to the limits. So this is just like a little niggle. Or... It's just about managing that to yeah. make it through to the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then similar to Greg, I've got a little kind of foam rolling hockey ball. Yeah. Hairbrush. <laughs> Some more female things. Uh, Absolutely. Hairspray, all that kind of. Self care, and then I've got my grips as well. So, as I said before, that's I use that underneath, and then these little you grips to go over, over the top. Yep. And yeah, Theraband as well for warm ups. Yeah. I, have, I have a question for you. If you yeah. don't mind. Is there anything that like surprised you that's in our bag or? No, I actually thought you know it was actually Please. okay. Yeah. Um, anything you would have in, in there instead? Yeah. What have we missed? What do we need to pack in? <laughs> well, I was thinking uh, energy gels, like bars, energy bars, energy gels, okay, yeah, yeah. or protein powders yeah. or something. I, I, I was thinking more of that. Yeah, we've already eaten them. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we do usually have lots of food um, in our bags as well as stuff like that. We don't really take much energy gel, mm. do we? We try and get it through, through food. Mm. Through natural food. Yeah. yeah, and our tournament bag would be different to our practice bag in terms of we try and take out a bit of the crap. But, the tournaments, um, just Absolutely. to travel lighter. Yeah. yeah. Um, one question I have. So obviously with ibuprofen, it, sh it, sh it shouldn't interfere with doping control. But have you guys gone through doping control and what what's the process, if you can tell us? I mean, any... that's like a whole hour long like, really? webinar. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been, I've never been drug tested. No, but once you get to a certain level, you do and they can knock at your door at 6am in the morning. And, Anytime, and, yeah, anywhere. You have to fill out a whereabouts form. We were actually out with um, 
Marvin Seidel from Germany the, the other night, weren't we? And he was like constantly having to change depending where he was. Um, is to let them know. Location, yeah, it's quite difficult. Um, so yeah. yeah, but we've not had we've not had many, but we do every supplement we take, paracetamol's okay, and things like that. Mm. Um, but yeah, you've got to make sure it's batch tested. And you've got to make sure it's like on the informed sport. So yeah, I think that's that's absolutely amazing. That's a lot of really good insight to what you bring to a tournament um, and actually you know what you prepare actually you know like preparation is half the battle isn't it so how do you prepare for a tournament what do you bring to one uh, I think a lot of the work is done behind the scenes and I think yeah this is, this is amazing information for a lot of the fans out there who love your, your stuff so yeah thanks for having us no thank you thank you for showing us showing me as well at the same time so thank you so yeah so we'll see you in the next one so make sure you check them out bye bye